Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with How To Video Channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to wire a three-way switch. And so a three-way switch is basically a light switch that you have two switches, one on one end of the room and one on another end of the room, and then a light fixture. So it's three items in circuit. A lot of times you'll see this in a stairwell, one at the top of the stairs, one at the bottom of the stairs and a light in the ceiling. Now these can be very complicated, so I'm gonna really try to simplify it for you. In addition, if you're switching them out, uh, then it adds an entirely new dynamic because a lot of times the wires they use uh, might be um, hodgepodge or handyman together. Uh, so we're gonna do our best to try to help you through it. If you have any comments or questions, please put them below and I'll do my best to help you out. So first off, a little bit about three-way switches is you're going to have a light switch and it, all the newer switches are going to say common on them. You see common and common. So this is a dynamic we have. I've just set this up to mimic what it looks like in the wall. So here we would have light switch A. This is where the hot power comes in. So this is coming directly from the circuit breaker. Okay. Then we have another spot you'll typically see in your electrical box. There's going to be one hole coming in. Okay, this is the hot line in. Then there's going to be another thing coming in, usually from the top. That is going out somewhere to the light fixture. Hopefully, it is what is called 14-3 uh, wire. So 14 gauge and then one, two, three coated wires. If it's 14-2 like this, uh, then you'll probably see like an extra wire coming in that might have tape or, or a label on it or something like that. So with a three-way switch, you need four wires. That's because there are two travelers that go to the other switch, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So for starters, again, this is the hot line in, and these are going up to the light fixture. Okay, then in the other side, so at the, the bottom of the stairwell, for example, you will have another switch with a common, so another three-way switch, and then you'll usually only have one set of wires coming in to that box. Now, a lot of times uh, you're going to have at this place, there might be a double switch, so there could be like two switches here because one might be controlling the basement room. This one controls the stairwell. So then you're gonna have all kinds of wires. But for this purpose, the only one you need to worry about for this switch is whatever set of wires is coming from that light fixture. Now, if you don't know how to figure that out, then you can get uh, what is called a little tick tracer. You will connect the hot line over here to let's say this wire right here and then find out which one is hot and that will help you develop uh, an idea of which set of wires is coming from the light fixture. So you'd touch like that and figure out which wires go where. And that's also how you would do it if they're not labeled. You'd have to run a current to decide which wire is which. So let's just pretend that everything is set up properly in whatever you're working with and we'll go from there on how to wire this up. So for starters, you have the neutral hot line in. That is going to go with the neutral line from the light fixture. So you would take these, put them together, and uh, put a wire nut on them. So for quick purposes, we're just gonna simply wire nut these together. Uh, it's always a great practice to twist them up so that they stay and twist in the direction of the wire nut. So for example, if you're spinning that wire nut on clockwise, you'll want to twist the wires clockwise as well, because otherwise you will just be untwisting them. So there you go, that's the neutral. The next thing that you would do is the grounds. I mean, and you can do these in any order. As long as the power's off, it really doesn't matter. So we have ground and you're gonna need an extra ground jumper. So we'll put three of them together here. And then once again, twist them up together. Now, of course, you'll wanna make sure these are really good and solid so that they don't come apart. That is the worst thing that can happen as your electrical starts to come apart in the box. So make sure they're all solid. Get them together like that, okay. Then you've got that one, 
and this one. So now what you have is the grounds are together, the neutrals are together. This is your hotline in, that is gonna go to this common. So one thing that you really need to make sure of is this common here twists this direction backward. So you're going to wanna make sure that you put a loop in your wire to match that. So we'll loop it backward and then we're simply going to hook that right around the screw and then screw this in. Now you might say, what about putting them in the quick connects? Sure, you can do that, but it's much more stable and solid to have it wrapped around a screw than sticking in a quick connect. So now we're gonna do the ground, and of course on this side they come the other direction, so twist it forward, and wrap that around the ground, and then we'll put this ground screw in. And the reason you wanna turn the wire in the direction of the screw is because then as you turn this wire, or as you turn this screw, the wire will pull itself and wrap around the screw, which creates a much better uh, bond or a much better, uh, much stronger connection. So we've got that. Now the next step is to wire the travelers. So when you're starting, this doesn't really matter. We're, we're gonna put the, the red on one side and the black on the other. So we've got the black right here and the red right here. And so this one is going to go on this side. And we'll just do this quickly for the sake of time. So if they're not solid, again, it's a demonstration, but you'll wanna make sure that they are very, very tight. So there we go, we'll have that one here, bear with me. And this, of course, is a no-no. You want that down there like that. Okay, so there we go. Now, this is where the trick comes in. Oh, I've pulled the ground off. Okay, this is where the trick comes in. So, right now, you have these going up to the light fixture, all right? This neutral is going directly to the light fixture neutral, all right? So this is where it's confusing on the other end. So right here, you gotta pay very close attention. I'm gonna really try to simplify it. If you have questions, please comment. This neutral is going to the neutral in the light fixture, all right? Then you also have a black wire in the light fixture. That is going to be this black wire here. So this is coming directly from the light fixture. This one is going to go to the common. And so that we are going to wire up right away. So the black is coming from the black in the light fixture. And so that's going on the common because that's what's going to help control the light. All right, now. What about these others? Well, of course, the ground, you know where the ground will go. That will go on the ground wire, so we'll do that one. Right there. And then that will leave us with two other wires, the red one and the white one. Now, if the neutral is already connected up in the ceiling to the light fixture, this here is not our neutral anymore. This has now become a traveler. So these two red wires, they get wire nutted up in the ceiling. So you take the red and the red and wire nut them together up in the ceiling. That's up at the fixture. Those two are wire nutted, all right? Where does this red one go? It goes to the opposite circuit on this switch. So you see here, we are on the left side if you're looking face on if you're looking from the back it would be on the right side so we want to go to the opposite so here it's on the left here we would want to go to the right so this red and, and a good way to new, to know that is here's the common here's the common our red is here 
So that means on this one, the common, the red is going to go here. Remember, these two reds are wire nutted together up in the ceiling, up by the light fixture. Your white or your neutral is going directly to the light fixture. And of course, the grounds are all wire nutted together up in the ceiling. So that leaves us with one wire left, which is this black wire. This is going up into the ceiling and then is connecting with this white wire to come down to the light switch. And so usually what someone will do, a handyman or an electrician, if they have a label maker, they're going to label it hot white. And so otherwise you're just going to take black tape and you'd put some black tape there on this one. And then generally what I really like to do, if you have the ability, is take some black tape and put it over here on this one as well so that you know that this matches this and that is your traveler. Then up in the ceiling on that wire nut where they're connected, black tape them as well. So now in the ceiling, a little recap, we have this neutral going directly to the light fixture. Then from the light fixture, you have a black wire coming out. That's coming right down here to the common. Okay, also in the ceiling, you have this red wire nutted to this red, and then we're going to have this black wire nutted to this white right here. And if, this is the traveler. And so on this switch, it is on the same side as the common. So on this switch, it needs to be on the opposite side of the common. So we're going to bend it toward here, put it on here, wire this up. And now you have a successful three-way light switch. So if you have any questions, please comment below. These can be very, very difficult to navigate, especially if you are replacing existing switches. The main thing, though, is if you are replacing existing switches, just copy it. So find wherever the common is on the existing. Sometimes they wire them in upside down, which is a pain, but just in your mind, flip it over and try to figure that out. Uh, if you need any diagrams or help, you can find them online. But hopefully this video has really, really helped you out because I know when I was learning electrical, this was like the number one problem anytime I encountered a three-way switch because it never seemed to work out. So use the tricks. Definitely get one of these tick tracers. And if you need to run a current on certain wires to figure out which one's which, do that. A label maker really helps so you know because sometimes these wires aren't red. They might be blue, they might be green. I once encountered a situation where every single wire was white and so I had no idea what was what. So you never know what you're going to open up, especially in older houses. If you have any questions, once again, please comment below. In addition, I hope you like this video. If it helped you, please let me know. And if you need any other electrical videos made, comment below as well, because I'm always looking for different ways to help you guys out. I hope you subscribe to the channel. Please do that and check out other videos on this channel as well. Thank you.